The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Hi and welcome to the Eagles Sports Network. I'm Caitlin Jones standing alongside head coach for the track and field team, David Needs. So we've got the SAC Indoor Track and Field Championships coming up. Very exciting stuff. You're going to be back at the JDL Fast Track. You all mm -hmm. have been there before, even just this season. Right. Does that kind of lend an advantage to you all? Does it make you more comfortable knowing you've been there, you know the place? Yeah, we. I mean, we've been going there, I think, since probably – Oh, 2014, 2015. So it's it's been we've been there for a long time. So a lot of our kids have a lot of experience there. But I think just the idea of of some place that has familiarity with what we're trying to get accomplished. Um, it's a 200 meter flat track, and most of the meets that we've been to this year, uh, Roanoke was a flat track, but we, we've been doing bank tracks, and so it's a little bit of a challenge. It's a little bit different. It, it employs a different strategy in getting ready for for this meet, but I, I, we like it. We like we like the opportunity of going somewhere where we know well. Good stuff. So we know going in, this is a big meet. It's um, you mentioned a little bit different. What's the mindset for you all going in? Sure. So. During the year, our, our, our focus is run as fast as you can, jump as far as you can, throw as far as you can, because um, we're trying to improve our place for nationals. And since most meets don't keep a team score, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. And even if we finish first, we don't like, it doesn't give us a record. You know, you don't, there's not a record in, in track. But when you go to the conference meet, it's about beating everybody else. So place is the thing that now matters. So mm -hmm. time and distances don't matter as much as being better than everybody else from the conference. And so when you look at that, for our athletes, that mindset has shifted a little bit from, you know, you're constantly competing against yourself during the year. Mm -hmm. Now you're competing against everybody else in the conference. And, you know, competing for the team matters that much more because you're trying to help the team by every place that you can finish. Absolutely. So kind of moving along in that mindset, um, what does coaching look like for something like this? Is it kind of one of those situations where you're like, we've prepared you as much as we can and you send them in? Or is it a situation where you're kind of coaching them through the process of this meet? Well, the great coaches that I have are always coaching. So, mm -hmm. and, um, so we, we do go into that and we've put a lot of preparation. It's, we've been really looking at every logistical detail, everything that we could do to try and make sure that there are no distractions this week at all. And so we have a team meeting here in about an hour, and we're really just trying to focus on getting the team in the right mindset. But our assistant coaches do a really good job of preparing them while we're at the meet. It's the little things. It's the little corrections. You can't go in there and just make giant corrections because they're not going to work. Mm -hmm. But the little corrections, the little things that you can do, the little things that you observe and and in this case, we, we run rounds. So if you if you run in the preliminary and then you make it to the final, what adjustments you can make. And so to have great coaches that, that look at those little things and, and to do that is, is, is really good. And, I, and, and speaking as the head coach, I'm very blessed to have a great staff of people that, that really understand that and, and really focus on trying to be mindful of where, where we need to be at that moment, at that place to, be, to get the maximum performance. Awesome. So you mentioned a team meet. This will be my last question, but can sure. you give us a little bit of an inside peek on maybe something you're going to tell the team while you're in there today? Sure. So one of the things that we're going to focus on is, is, is being a great ambassador for Christ in, in the way that we perform. And so we know that God takes pride in our performances because he's given us the talent. So we want to live up to that talent. And mm -hmm. so what we want in a track meet at a conference meet where everybody's trying to be the very best is to be a great ambassador for him because we are, are, are trying to glorify him through just not just the way that we compete, although that's important, but how we react with our teammates, how we re react with the people that are, we're, we're competing against, how we react with, with our coaches. What, is, what are we doing when we go to Winston-Salem to represent Carson Newman, but more importantly, to represent the God that created us? And so when we can do that, and we can do that in a way that is God-honoring, performance and all those other things are going to come and fall into place and so we're excited that this weekend and that's what the challenge is going to be to the team today is how can we honor the God that created us by performing at the highest level and and really getting the most out of our talent absolutely well that's a great message a successful season so far and not over yet thank you so much for your time today and thank you all for tuning in to the Eagle Sports Network